there is an evil, but it didn't come from a devil. Buried deep in beliefs, encased in fear, another camp filled with young, innocent lives, brainwashed, manipulated, and threatened with lies. Hell seems so close, as if lurking over my shoulder. It follows me. Home, church, the playground at school, never leaving me without wonder. What would it be like to burn for eternity with no end? The pastors tell me it's possible if I don't ask Jesus into my heart and that he forgives me of my sins. So I try to speak in tongues, shake, then fall to the floor. I cry out to God, please, have mercy on my soul. Another service, pastors encourage all to step forward and confess of their sins so they can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb. And after, the altar call is given to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior because without him, you'll perish in hellfire forever. It's always pressing in my mind, causing panic and distress. There's too much wrong with me to confess. I'm left with a sense of feelings overwhelming, of complete emptiness. It's now time for communion in the sanctuary. Take, eat, Jesus said. This is my body. I taste the grape juice, it's sour. Unlike the stale, dry cracker, more trays are passed. Tithe. I was baptized as an infant and will be again this year. Because at seven, I have a deeper understanding of the Bible, it's all clear. And I ask God, all on my own, without any persuasion, as far as I know.